Welcome to the Pulmonary Bi-Track NIV in-servicing video. Today we will walk you through a few of the features and benefits our product offers, how to size your patient properly, and the ventilator settings associated with the use of our masks. Our mask line ranges from pediatric sizing to adult sizing to suit a wide variety of patients. First, I'd like to start with three different NIV masks Pulmodyne offers. Our full face mask, our MAC shield, and our nasal mask. We offer a fixed version that can be ordered with a standard elbow or an anti-asphyxia elbow. We also offer the select line that has seven different interchangeable elbows for the full face and three different interchangeable elbows for the MAC shield. Our seven different interchangeable elbows include our standard anti-asphyxia, anti-asphyxia with leak, standard bronchoscopy, anti-asphyxia bronchoscopy, standard nebulizer, and anti-asphyxia nebulizer. Both of our nebulization elbows are compatible with the Aerogen nebulizers. Our elbows can also accept both the Nevo and Solo adapters. For the select line, the interchangeable elbows on our adult line connect and disconnect with a friction fit. When you remove the mask from the packaging, you will notice that the elbow is disconnected in a small plastic bag located inside of the mask. To connect the elbow, remove it from the plastic bag and press it into the hub of the mask. You will notice that there is a shelf within the hub which acts as a stopping point. Simply press the elbow into the hub until it is flush with the mask. You cannot press it too far. To disconnect the elbow, simply grasp the hub, turn and pull the elbow out. We recommend that you fit the elbow on the mask before fitting it onto the patient. Our interchangeable elbows on our pediatric line offer a bayonet style locking mechanism. When you remove the mask from the packaging, you will notice that the elbow is already locked in place. To disconnect the elbow, grasp the hub, twist the elbow counterclockwise, and remove the elbow from the hub. To connect the elbow, find the two adapter bayonets, insert them into the grooves of the hub, and grasp the hub while turning the elbow clockwise until it clicks into place. Another great quality of our masks is that they are manufactured with two main components, silicone and polycarbonate. The forehead pad and the cushion of the mask are made with silicone to make it easy to wipe clean. A unique feature of the full face mask and nasal mask is our OmniClip. This material is made out of a super tough nylon. The super tough nylon is resistant from shattering, snapping, or breaking under any circumstance. The OmniClip feature allows you to adjust the forehead pad both up, down, and in and out, maximizing your adjustability range. Once the OmniClip is in the correct position, this will alleviate the potential for skin breakdown on the bridge of the nose. The Pulmonine Full Face Mask has a dual lip style cushion. The benefit of a dual lip cushion is the fact that the mask will float on the patient's face. When sized properly, this will help in avoiding unwanted pressures and unwanted leaks. Our headgear itself was intended to keep both the clinician and the patient in mind. Our headgear comes with two sets of Velcro, which allows you to size the majority of your patients, even patients with smaller heads. If you happen to lose a clip for whatever reason when sizing your patient, you do not need to get a new mask. You can simply insert the Velcro strap through the mask loop. Our clips offer a stronger, sturdier grip to the mask, a necessary twist-off removal style, and an audible click when attaching the clip to the mask. In order to attach the clip to the mask, align the clip with the bar and press down until you hear a click. This means the clip is properly placed on the mask. To remove the clip from the mask, grip the clip with your thumb and index finger and twist clockwise. Next, we'll talk about our Max Shield. The Max Shield comes in five different sizes, extra, extra small, extra small, small, adult large, and extra large. This mask is very easy to size. It is convenient to use in the ED when you need to get a mask on the patient as soon as possible. For your adult population, the adult large size will fit roughly 80% of your patients. One thing patients like about the Max Shield is that it actually makes them feel less claustrophobic. The main benefit of the Max Shield is that it helps in reducing pressure ulcers that could form on the bridge of the nose. We recommend having the patient alternate between a full face and a Max Shield in order to prevent skin breakdown in that area. Our extra small, extra, extra small, 
and the small adult sizes are great for your pediatric population. We offer a bonnet style headgear on the extra small and extra extra small masks to offer better patient fit. Now that you understand how to properly fit your patient, let's review how to set up your NIV mask on the V60 machine, manufactured by Philips. Please note that these results have been tested and approved by Pulmodyne. The ventilator most commonly used in conjunction with our NIV mask is the V60, manufactured by Philips. The V60 has certain leak compensation settings that are pre-programmed into the V60. These pre-programmed settings are found by selecting Menu and Mask Port. From here you will have a choice of what mask ET selection you would like to choose. The options are ET, trach 1, 2, 3, 4, and other. In order to show patient leak, which only displays the leak coming from around the cushion itself and subtracts the leak coming from the exhalation port built into the circuit, you have the option of selecting comparable settings for the Philips mask. Our nasal and full face mask would be comparable to the number one setting and our max shield would be comparable to the number two setting. After you select the appropriate mask ET selection, click accept. You will then have the choice of what exhalation port selection you would like to select. The options are whisper swivel, DEP, PEV, other, and none. If you are using our Pulmodyne circuit with exhalation port built into the circuit, the comparable settings to a Philips circuit with exhalation port would be DEP, which stands for Disposable Exhalation Port. After choosing the appropriate exhalation port selection, click Accept. The reason you would select settings that are comparable to Philips is if you want your staff to see patient leak, which accounts for leak only coming from around the cushion. Patient leak can compensate for a leak rate of up to 60 liters per minute. In many cases, your staff was initially trained to see a leak rate of under 60 liters per minute and may not know that this only accounts for patient leak. There's also a total leak setting that will be displayed if you select other when you're selecting mask ET selection and other when you're selecting exhalation port selection. The other setting was programmed into the V60 so that the V60 could be used with other manufacturers' disposables. However, when they created the setting, they changed the leak rate to total leak to account for the leak coming from around both the cushion of the mask and the exhalation port in the circuit. When the V60 displays total leak, the leak rate will be significantly higher than patient leak. Therefore, if you see a total leak of more than 60 liters per minute, it is not necessarily a problem. For example, if you occlude the circuit and allow for air to only escape from the exhalation port built in our circuit, the patient leak would be zero. If you change the mask port settings to other for the mask ET selection and other for the exhalation port selection, while still occluding the circuit, you will see the total leak now shows 26 liters per minute. This occurred at the following settings. IPAP 20, EPAP 10, rate 8, I time 1.5 seconds, Rise 3, oxygen 21%. Therefore, your staff has the option of either choosing comparable settings to Philips in order to see patient leak, or may select the other settings to see total leak displayed. It is just important for your staff to understand the difference between the two leak rates. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video in service. If you have any further questions, you can reach out to your Pulmonine sales rep or contact us at pulmonine.com.